what about others if you if the screen is visible you can write yes in the chat box okay okay so this is the carousel which we are going to be making so it has some animations the transition animations and it's also responsive so if you make it small that doesn't break and it's responsive so this is in pure vanilla javascript that's just amazing and also i would like to point out that this has a caption text and also the, the indicators, indicators yes. yeah and that's something really cool and uh, to make it all by yourself using just vanilla javascript along with html css no library and all this is going to be a huge learning curve for whoever who is learning about javascript and web development in particular those who are beginners this is going to be a huge push to your whole learning curve yeah so uh, i'll share the code pen link so just like last time what we're going to do is i'll give you the html and css part so you can copy that part from code pen directly and we're going to write the javascript part only so just uh, let me just share the code pen link i have it here uh yeah so i'll also just copy the whole part so i'll create an uh, empty html file the csl css file css file and the javascript file uh i'll copy all the part from html uh okay so right now i have this empty uh, these empty files index.html and uh css and javascript files so uh what this uh, vs code gives you is a ex uh, emit uh, thing which what this does is if you just press shift and 1 uh the exclamation mark and then if you press tab it gives you the boilerplate so you don't have to write all these meta tags so inside this i'll paste the html uh i have the html here and uh, i'll also copy the css so the css is also here now what i'm going to do is just link the css so link style.css so this is also done and uh, i'll also link the script also script app.js okay so that's done uh i think one thing is left uh uh okay uh, so to open this up we'll use the extension live server so the live server extension uh, is extension in vs code so what that does is just gives you live reload so you don't have to refresh every time you save anything so to get that live reload thing uh, extension you can just go to this extensions tab and just write down live server and this is the uh, extension which we are going to be using live server by rithvik day so you can just install this and after after you install this you can uh, go here and right click this and you can see this thing open with live server if you just press this uh, live server should open up yes okay so yeah this is done and i hope you are done till here uh, just uh, write down done and then we'll move forward okay saman has done it and shreya shreyas also jayshree also akars has also done it okay great yeah 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 in each uh, let me explain you okay you don't uh, you'll not be able to see the images so one thing also we need to add is i use the uh, icons so these icons which you are seeing here uh, the arrow 
these are from font font awesome so we have to add the font awesome cdn so to add that you can just type uh, in in google font awesome 5 cdn so font awesome is a library which has many fonts uh, icons sorry icons so uh, you can just uh, uh, go to this website and copy this thing and uh, I'll also put this link in the uh, chat box so you just copy this link tag and place it in the head part so if you place this you will also be able to see okay so uh, you'll see these uh, icons okay so just uh, write down yes if you have done it done till here and then we'll move forward okay 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 uh, so let me explain you uh, initially uh, let me explain you the HTML part and CSS part and then we'll move forward to the JavaScript file so what we have right now is a uh, uh, okay so we have a slide show container okay so this is a slideshow we have a container and inside this uh, slideshow container we have slides okay so this one these these all are slides so we have three slides so we gave each slide a class of my slides and a class of fade okay so i'll show you what this fade is doing so initially we have three slides so one two and three and what we have are these two uh, indicators uh, the icons which go next and back and these dots the indicators okay so this is the HTML part so what we have inside each slide we have an image and we gave the image a width of 100% so it stretches out okay and we also have a div of class text so the caption part is inside each slide so we have a slide inside each slide we have the image and the text and we have three slides okay so initially why you're not able to see the slides is because in the CSS I just gave each slide a class my slides display none okay so it's not visible so uh, let me explain you how the carousel will work so initially I gave all the slides the display none because what uh, we'll be doing in the function is uh, uh, what whichever slide we're on we're just gonna display only that slide and will display all other slides none okay so we don't want other slides we only want the slide which we which we are seeing right now which uh, uh, which will be controlled by the counter which will be making a counter okay so if you're done till here if you have copied the uh, the HTML part and the CSS part let's move on to the JavaScript part okay so should we start the JavaScript part You will understand more uh, when we write okay 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 great so let's start with the JavaScript okay so this is what we have right now we don't see any images so uh, let me just select the slides okay so the slides uh, these slides so I gave all the slides a class of my slides so I'll select each slide by saying const and I'll name this slides so const slide is equals to document dot get element by class name okay so this will select all the slides and we have given the slides class of my slides so we have the slides now and the next thing which we will be selecting is the dots okay so uh, const dots const dots equals to document dot get element by class name again and we gave it a class of uh, dot okay so class of dot can you zoom in okay 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 i'll zoom in yeah uh, is it uh, fine now yeah okay so we have the slides we have the dots and uh, like I told you we are going to make a counter which will keep the tr uh, keep a track of image which we are on currently on okay so let's just say let counter uh, okay uh, let 
counter equals to one. Okay, so initially we'll say one. Initially we will be on the first slide. Okay, so uh, yeah, now let's make the function the slides function. Okay, so the slider function. Okay, so we are gonna make the function. And to make a function, we'll just say function, function, uh, slider, and the slider will have an argument n, n. So what this n means is the uh, current slide, the slide which we are on. Okay, so this will keep the track of the slide which we are on. Okay, so the function slider n, and inside this, what we'll do initially is just uh, display the slide. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is say slider slider uh, slides sorry slides so the slides which we selected slides and so when we select the slides from get element by class name we have an array of slides okay and initially uh, the first slide is the zeroth index okay so we need to uh, display the first slide so to display that we will say counter counter minus one okay so slide zero and what we will do is just say style dot display display equals to block okay so slides initially the first slide and display to block initially it's none so now it's block okay so now if I save it and we also have to call the function slider so let's call this above okay so we'll call it right here so i'll say slider slider and we'll pass the counter in this so if i save this i should be able to see the image okay yeah so now i'm able to see the image so uh, uh just let me know if you have completed till here and then we'll move forward Uh, till then I'll explain it once more so what we're doing right now is selecting all the slides so here we have all the slides and here we have all the dots these dots okay and then next thing is we are making a tracker a counter which keeps track of the current image okay and inside this function what we will be doing is we'll be looping around uh, looping around all the images and we'll be displaying it one by one okay so initially uh, the slides are displayed none now what we have done is displayed the first image okay so now we can see the image and we also have these indicators and these dots okay so someone has done it and Nancy has also completed it okay Shreyas has also done it great Yeah, summon. Yeah, okay, summon. Why can't we just put the counter to zero? It will, you know, we don't have to do that counter minus one. Uh, you can do that also. Like, uh, if there's something, uh, any importance of putting counter to one. It's not really necessary. We can uh, also use zero, okay? Okay. Uh, should we move forward? Akers has also done it. Okay. So, uh, okay, let's move forward. So, uh, yeah, we have done the slide slides and we are able to see the slides and uh let's add uh, the active class also so we made a class active okay so inside this uh, what we have are three dots and each dot has a class of dot so inside the css let's see the dot and the dot has a background of bbb okay this bbb and if we add the class active what will be uh, the background will be a bit darker so it indicates the current slide so if uh, right now we're on the first one so we'll just add dots dots counter counter minus one so the first dot and the class name should be added to each one and the class will be active so make sure you add a space before active because we're adding two classes one after the another 
so we have dot and we have to add another class active so dot then space then active so we have to add a sp uh, space before active okay so yeah it indicates that we are on the first slide next thing what we have to do is make the for loop so the for loop uh, which displays image to none okay so for that uh, i'll initiate a variable i so let i so this i will be using in the for loop and so initially uh, okay so let's make the for loop so for i is 0 i is 0 and this i will go on till the slides okay so we have three we have three slides so we'll just say slides dot length slides dot length and i plus plus and inside this what we're gonna do is uh, set the display to none okay slides and i'll select the slide and what i will do is just say slide dot i style dot display is none you will see what what will happen okay uh, so yeah this is done and the next thing what we also need to do is whenever we increment okay so whenever we click on these buttons so we have uh, something which is a on click function on click attribute so we added this on click attribute and we uh, will be making a function plus slides okay so uh, let's just create that function okay the plus slides and uh, you'll see what will happen so uh, below this uh, i'll just create the function plus slides so function uh, plus slides i think i called it plus slides yes plus slides and this will also uh, have that argument of counter and what this will do is just add the counter uh, add the counter one okay one and one uh, it will add each counter so it will increment the counter so to do that we'll say slider and inside the slider we'll just pass counter plus equals to n so every time we plus it uh, we'll increment the counter so the function plus slides is done so uh, whenever we plus the counter increases and whenever the counter increases we'll display this image which is currently here to none and the other image the second image is displayed to block okay so this is done uh, the next thing what we need uh, i think uh, right now it doesn't work uh, next thing what we need is uh, yeah the dots function so what the dots are gonna do inside uh, for dots we'll make another for loop and initialize it i is zero and this will go till dots dot length dots dot length and increment this and inside this what we have to do is just replace the class active so initially we have active here we need to remove this class active okay so for that i'll just say dots i so the current dot dot class name dot class name and what uh, we have to do to this class name is just remove replace so for that i'll say dots i dots i dot class name dot replace so we have a function replace and it takes in two parameters so first what uh, we have currently so we have to replace the active class active and we have to replace it to none so what this is gonna do is whenever we increment this it will replace uh, remove this class okay so yeah it works so what happened right here uh, you can see is whenever we click on this function uh, the button so what happens is the image which is currently showing it's displayed is none and this image is displayed okay so what we did here we just displayed none and whatever uh, whatever we are on the counter now so the counter now becomes two so counter two minus one so first one the image displayed so the first image is displayed and the dots class is added to the second one just like we displayed it okay so uh, right now we have done the carousel but we need to fix one more thing uh, 
uh, so if you have completed till here just you can just write completed or yes in the chat box and then we'll move for, further okay akshat has done it akshat saman Jashree also great so uh, what uh, the problem which we have right now is if we go further uh, after three so we have three images and we add the so the counter becomes four so the image is gone so we have to fix that so we'll be fixing that now okay Akers has also done it and Nancy also so uh, let's fix that okay so for that we'll we'll just be using the if statement okay so for that we'll just say if if uh, let's say the counter so the number which we are on currently so n if it's greater than the length of slides okay so if it's greater than 3 uh, in this case we have 3 but we'll use slides dot length so if it's greater than 3 what we'll be we're, what we're going to be doing is just uh, send the uh, counter back to one so so it looks like we're looping okay so whenever we go after this one so if the counter is now four but we if we set it to one what what will happen is the in the first image will be show, shown so here here if we say counter equals to one uh, so the image the first image will be shown okay and same if we go back again it's it breaks so to do that uh, we'll be having yeah so to do that we'll also we'll again add an if statement so if if n is less than one so if we go backwards so n is less than one what will uh, what we'll be doing is just set the counter to the last image so for that we'll say counter equals to slides dot length so what this is gonna do is just set the uh, counter to the last one so now if we save i think this should work yeah okay so uh, currently we're on the first one if we press we, we go to the second one and we go to the third one and when we add it so this if statement works so now n is great if we uh, increase this n the counter increases by one and it's greater than length so the counter becomes one so we move back to the first image and when we go back so the counter is less than one so it becomes the last one so it looks like we're looping and it looks like we're in an infinite loop okay so i think it's it works fine and the fade animation which is happening is using the key uh, keyframes okay so what what's happening is we have initially the opacity 0 0.1 and whenever we move the opacity becomes one so that's the fade animation we've done it using the keyframes in the css part and what we have done right here is just remove the uh, image from uh, the display initially and we've added the second image so i think uh, we've completed the javascript and yeah the carousel is completed so you have a amazing carousel with pure javascript and without any library or bootstrap i think uh, uh, just let me know if you have also completed it yeah it works and i think it's also responsive yeah it's responsive uh not the dots okay uh i think i forgot something uh, 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 uh. okay yeah 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 okay sorry 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 i didn't add the dots okay so in the dots we added a function uh current slide so what uh, this current slide function is gonna do is keep track of the slide which we are on okay so i forgot that sorry so we'll just create that function so what this function is gonna do the current slide current slide the current slide okay function current slide function current slide okay uh, again this is gonna take that counter yeah so n and we'll just 
call the function slider and inside the slider we'll just uh, set the counter to be that current one okay so now if we save this i think it should work in your code as well so we've given it uh, the parameters one two and three so one first one is this dot second and third one so it just sets the counter i think it should work now Okay, great, great. Okay, Akshat, uh, you can just uh, press F12 and check in the console. You can uh, have, you can see all the errors in the console. Great, someone also completed that. Akash says works. Kunj has also completed it. Great. I guess almost everyone has done it, right? Yeah, I think uh, everyone has done it. That's Let's great. Just see, uh, some are left. Jeshri. Okay, Nancy completed it as well. Yeah, Jesse has also completed it. Uh, I'll share the code pen link once again. So if you have any, if you have left anything, you can just check it once more. Uh, yeah, you can just go in the uh, code pen and copy everything. Yep, so I guess almost everyone is done with the sesh, this whole carousel, yes. right? And it looks pretty cool. The best part is the like caption and everything that it comes with it, no? Yeah, and, and the also, indicators also. Yeah, and without any media queries and all, it's by default responsive. Yeah. That's also a great part about it. So I hope all of you like today's session.